Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing a uh, auto start stop disabler into a 2020 Subaru Crosscheck. Bought this off Amazon for $26.99. It comes with some fuses, a connector, and a, a little blue uh, pry bar to take off your panels. I will post an Amazon link to the model that I bought. Here are the years of cars that'll fit. 2019 and 2023 Forester, 2018 and 2023 Crosstrek, 2015 and 2020 Legacy. Here's how it works. Once you start your car, it will send a signal to the box, to the car, to turn off your auto start stop disabler. How do you install it? This is the video they provided. Open the fuse panel, take off your panel for your auto start stop button and disconnect the switch. I did not do that. I thought that it was kind of hard to get that uh, panel out, so I left it installed. I'll show you what I did here in a second. You just plug in the device uh, from one wire to the back of the auto start stop button, and then you plug in the fuse. It says use the fourth fuse. I did not do that either. There's actually an open fuse panel that I used. But this is how they did it. And as you can see, it did not take much time at all for them to do this. I'm going to show you a video how I did it. I like to show their video first because their video kind of shows you a better idea how the whole thing goes together. It was hard for me to hold the camera and show you everything I was doing. So I wanted to show you how they have the installation here. Uh, now we're going to move on. Once he closes his panel up, we're going to show you how I did it. So when you go into your Subaru, you're going to pull out your fuse panel, which is located on the left side, right below your steering wheel. As you can see on the very far bottom right, there's an open fuse right there. Look to the very far bottom right, there's, an, there's a right where it says 7.5 amps there, underneath that fuse. There is nothing there. That's the fuse I'm going to plug it into. This is your auto start stop button. This is the button we're going to be working on. So once we opened up the fuse, when we flip the camera around, you can see that little white cord right there. There's a gray one and a white one. So if you just look at your A button and you look underneath there, you're going to see a little white connector that goes into that A button. All you have to do is get a little screwdriver or that little pry bar that came in this kit, push in on the connector. There's a little position where you want to push it in and then you can remove the wire. So right there, I'm pushing it in, taking my other hand and I'm just going to pull that white connector out. Once I get this uh, wire out, I'll show you how that actually connects. So there I am, I got it out. Now let's look at a close up of this wire here. And you can see I'm getting ready to start pushing in. That's where the screwdriver goes in. You're just going to push in that little connector right there. Oh, it's hard to get hold the camera and use the other hand to do this. But there's your A button. And there's where you're going to push on the screwdriver. There's the fuse. And here's your connector unit. You're just going to plug one side in to the wire. It's only going to fit in one direction. You're going to plug that in. You're going to take the other side, plug it behind the A button. So now we're going to have to go underneath again. Take that little white thing, look for your A button, feel it around, and just plug it in. And there it is right there. Just plug it in. You're going to feel the connector snap. Once they're snapped in, the next thing we're going to do is just plug in your fuse. That's it. So let's get some of these wires out of the way. We're going to push them out of the way. And we're going to go to that bottom right fuse that was open for me. And we're going to plug it into that hole right there. We're going to push it in. Once we push it in, we're just going to secure the wires. And installation is complete. Once we push that in, let's go ahead and start the car. And we'll show you what it does. Once we start the car, you're going to see that initially it's going to stay white for a while. Give it about a second or two. And then what will happen is you'll see that the auto start stop will turn orange, which means it's disabled. I do apologize, my camera wasn't focusing, so I do this a few times so you can actually get a better idea of what it looks like. I try to get my camera to focus. But as you can see right now, it's still white for a couple seconds. As I rotated it, right there, it turned the A went to orange. That means it's been disabled. Let's go ahead and turn the car off. We'll show you again. So now that the uh, camera is a little bit more focused on that screen. So let's go ahead and start it back on again. And you're gonna see the A is white. Give it a couple seconds, it's gonna turn it orange again and here it goes so that's how easy the installation is didn't take me very long to do it now all we have to do is put the fuse cover back on and we're completed
And that's it. I hope people find this video helpful to disable your auto start stop selector in your Subaru. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions.